you make every day Oh, the happiest Christmas Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel So in today's video, we are going to be doing a Christmas Q&A in our ugly Christmas sweaters before we get to the questions, we real quickly wanted to talk about some new perfumes. We have worked with Doss here before and we absolutely love their perfumes. Some of our new favorite flavors that are kind of Christmassy are Floriental Brown Sugar and Floriental Vanilla. One, two, three. Now that we smell amazing, we are going to shoot this Q&A. Let's get into it. Hey guys, so this is Savannah. This here is Mocha. Do you want to go? Oh, she's going. <laughs> so this sweater is, oh, what fun. I really like how it's like really loud and very festive. I'm Eliana and my ugly Christmas sweater says not another ugly sweater. Hi, I'm Michelle and this is my ugly Christmas sweater. It says ho, 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 so I guess I'm supposed to be Santa. It's Rachel here. My ugly Christmas sweater says Santa's favorite. I love this sweater because it's pink and because I think I'm Santa's favorite. I'm Jillian. This is my sweater. It jingles. It's got a Christmas tree. Hi guys, it's Caroline here, and this is my ugly Christmas sweater. It says, Merry Everything. I have lost a few of these ornaments. They tend to fall off. It has like tinsel, just like around the whole thing. It is not comfortable, but it's festive. I personally like red better because it's closer to pink, which is my favorite color. That's really personal to me, actually, because I love both red and green. I think I'd go with green, actually. Definitely red. Red is kind of only one shade. Like, there's only one shade of red. There's a lot of shades of green. Some greens are really pretty and some are really ugly. If we're thinking about Christmassy, I would probably, I just tend to like red more. I like red better, but to wear, I like green better. I like red and green. I really, really love green because this is the color green. This one's easy, Christmas with the Cranks. It's actually my favorite movie of all time. I really like A Christmas Carol. I love the movie Santa Claus. The movie is starring Tim Allen and he plays the Santa character and it's just like such a charming movie. Definitely one of my favorites is It's a Wonderful Life. It's a classic, you can't go wrong with that. I don't know, I like them all. Literally any by Furkan Country because they don't know how to make a bad song. The Happiest Christmas by Michael W. Smith. It just sounds like Christmas joy. All I want for Christmas is you. Sometimes my sisters make fun of me because I really like this song, Like It's Christmas by the Jonas Brothers. It's just really catchy and it kind of just puts me in a good mood. All my sisters don't like the song. They find it annoying, but I really like it. Candy cane lane, bring a friend this holiday, bring a friend who likes the light, we'll eat all the candy canes. It goes like this. Oh, the happiest Christmas. So I'm gonna sing it for you. You make every day feel like it's Christmas, never wanna stop. That was just a little trailer. There's this one that I hear of this old guy who it has a terrible voice and it's like the You better watch out, you better not cry I think it's that one It's this old guy who's terrible at singing Ugh. I don't really care for Jingle Bell Rock The background music is just kind of weird My favorite Nutcracker part has got to be Clara. I have done it for six years. Second favorite would have to be Dewdrop. It requires so much energy. Definitely Fritz for me because it was just like a really fun role to play, to be like a bad boy. <laughs> Hands down, I would say Dewdrop is my favorite. I'm actually going to be performing Dewdrop with American Repertory Ballet. I literally cannot believe it and I'm so excited. It was the first Nutcracker at HHB. One of my parts was Chinese. We had these umbrellas, and in the middle of the show, mine broke, 
And also, right before that dance, my shoe had broken. One of the ribbons had broken off, so mom had to sew it on with black thread backstage right before I went on. My shoe came off, then I had to run on for Chinese, and then my umbrella broke. My first show as Clara in the Clinton Nutcracker, I was doing the Clara Paw. It was all going great, and then we got to the last lift, and we had to do a flying shoulder sit. I was about to do it, and I somehow miscalculated my steps into the jump. I kind of like froze for a second, and then I just went back, and I was like, let's do it again. We have a video of it. Insert here. It was pretty embarrassing, but thankfully I got it right for the second show. A long time ago when I was like maybe 13, I was doing Spanish in the Nutcracker. Thankfully this was only a dress rehearsal, but I did absolutely awful. Everything went wrong. I did so bad. I just heard my teacher through the microphone this like really disappointed voice and she's like, we need to do that again, Michelle. I failed like the running shoulder sit jump before. For some reason I didn't make it all the way on top onto his shoulder. Probably like a mouse because they're very ugly. I've never really enjoyed doing mice or rats. You don't want to play the bad guy, or at least I never do. Well, I don't know. I don't really want to be mouse queen, mouse king. I actually got cast as the mouse queen. I didn't exactly want to get it, but then I ended up really loving it. It was super fun and not a lot of pressure, just like a fun role. I wish I knew. If you haven't, go watch our Vlogmas video from last year. We did this whole Q&A on the Radio City show. The show was absolutely amazing. I got to meet so many amazing people. I got to experience at 11 what it was like to be a professional dancer and be so close to the Rockettes. I did the show in Nashville, Tennessee, so it was really cool getting to perform on the Grand Ole Opry. It was so amazing doing Radio City Clara. I actually did it for four years. Basically, I didn't spend my Christmas at home. I would spend my Christmases at Radio City Music Hall. There was Thanksgiving dinners there and Christmas dinners there and the whole family would come and we would eat at Radio City. So those were just some super fun and amazing memories. Everyone who works there, they're all super sweet. And I'm actually going to see the show this year. I'm gonna go see Crystal Fong. For like the past couple years, I've worn a pup your kitten. Now I have that, so I don't really know what I want. Things I want now are hyperextended knees, good feet, good arches. I want like a, one of those like electric hoverboards. I don't really know what I want for Christmas yet. I just hope that something's under the tree for me. An air fryer. Guys, it's 2021 and we still don't have an air fryer. There's so many recipes I've saved for an air fryer, so I'm really hoping to get an air fryer. I love leotards, anything dance related, so anything that's gonna help me in ballet. I'm fine with any present. I love everything. Well, I remember one year, it was like two, three years ago, I was obsessed with squishies. It was this huge red squishy, and I was very happy. One of my favorite gifts was actually from Hudson Matter. He gave me the camera that I'm shooting on right now, the Canon G7X. I had been telling my parents and Hudson for a super long time about how that was my favorite camera and I really wanted to get it so I could vlog on it because at the time we were vlogging on our phones. I was always telling him about it. I never expected to actually get the camera. He gave it to me in one of his videos and I'm pretty sure that was around Christmas so I hope this counts. I've gotten so many amazing gifts. One of my favorites was my Radio City backpack, which I still use as my dance bag. It says Radio City Christmas Spectacular and it has my name on it. Probably the hot pink bicycle that I got from my grandparents. I remember this one Christmas. We we're opening stockings. I pulled out a DVD for my stocking and for some reason I just tossed it over the side because so I guess I didn't like it but I don't remember like thinking that and then I got in so much trouble and they sent me up to my room my siblings opened my other presents I think I like sledding better ice skating is 
honestly super scary for me. I like ice skating better because I think it's more like dancing. Well, I'm really, really bad at ice skating. Ice skating, but we never get to do it. I'm scared of it, but I wish I wasn't. Like, I wish I was good at it. I think I like sledding better because ice skating, I'm bad at it. What is that supposed to mean? There's different Christmas cookies? I love those cookies from like ShopRite, those sugar cookies. I don't know that they're necessarily Christmas cookies. I love thumbprint cookies. We always make Christmas cookies each year, which I love doing, but I also really love like just the raw cookie dough. Green bean casserole. Gross. There isn't really a dish I don't like, actually. I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate from this one. I don't really care for cranberry sauce. There, I said it. Oh, definitely stuffing. It's so bad. It's literally soggy croutons. Who likes that? I would say Christmas lights. When I'm driving by and I see a big display, it's just like, yes, Christmas spirit. Christmas lights. Christmas lights for sure. I'm obsessed with Christmas lights everywhere. Every single room I want Christmas lights. Christmas lights hands down. I would definitely have to pick Christmas lights because they light up your house, they light up your tree. Christmas lights all the way. I don't like that it's cold really. If the snow was warm, that'd be great. Only encountering branches. I get seasonal depression. There's nothing. Christmas is just amazing. It would be like all the nutcracker parts smashed onto one sweater. I really like Rachel's, like the pink and what it says. Well, I really like Rachel's, so I would probably do one like Rachel's. Because I like pastel colors, so I'd probably do like a white or like pastel pink shirt. It would say Happy Christmas. I would probably put tinsel on it, maybe like this. Our tree decorating party. The Christmas tree decorating party. Our Christmas tree decorating party, which probably everyone said. For me, it's definitely the tree decorating party. The tree decorating party. The tree decorating party. Christmas style breakfast food would be the bomb for me. I would probably want like stuffing, cranberries, lots of desserts like Christmas cookies. I want to see a Christmas ice cream bar lined up. A uh, Christmas tree made out of fruit. Lots of breads. Stuffing. Turkey, of course. A salad. Mashed potatoes. Cranberries. I just listed all the Thanksgiving dishes. Never. 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 Never, obviously. January 10th. I don't want to say never because it takes away the magicalness of it. It always kind of feels like the wrong time. You do all that work and you just want to leave it up and enjoy the Christmas cheer. When Christmas is over. We are celebrating Jesus' birth, which was an amazing historical moment. I also love spending the time with my family. If Jesus was never born, there would be no Christmas holiday. Basically Jesus' birthday. Him coming down as a baby to save the world. It's definitely something that people forget. Thank you so much for listening. Happy holidays, everyone. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Christmas profit. Broccoli, what do you think? About the. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's so creepy. Wait. Breath. Oh, wait, be wrong again. It's inappropriate. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, whoops. <laughs> <sighs> Ugly. I can't. No, okay, no. But. That's not a thing. That doesn't make any sense. I can't do this. Oh my goodness.
<laughs> the controversy. No. Don't don't come at me though. And Caroline is in the back. Get back! Oh, 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 oh. Just weird. See, I don't know. My thoughts are just like all over the place and I can't form sentences right now. Wait, what is my favorite Christmas movie called? I can't remember. You're done. You can hear me. Savannah. <laughs> How should I know? Huh. Yeah. David, you messed up the pillows. Oopsies. I'm going through a really sad story right now. Can you please not look back what? at me? Don't look at me. Is that possible? Bruh. She didn't like it. <laughs> I love tinsel. What the heck? My best friend. That's too hard of a question, never mind. So here a Christmas movie. Come on, think, think, think. Of course. Why are you listening? I love me some chicken. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's the fee for me. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Okay. So there you go. To explain the tree decorating part of it, words. Thank you so much for listening. You're welcome. Can you say bye, Coco? Bye, Coco. <laughs> How do you stop recording? I seem to be having some problems. Help me. How do you turn this? Oh.